Okay, I am attempting to build a greenhouse um, with no previous greenhouse experience. So we shall see what happens. Mostly out of parts I have laying around the house here. Um, first I'm gonna make some anchor points. I already have, I already measured out my four corners and measured them so they are square. So now I'm going to take some twine and go between the anchor points. show you the other side of the anchor points um, for the baseboards I'm going to use my raised beds ideally I'd probably wait until this garden was done growing but it's mostly finished and I'm very impatient so I'm gonna grab them And then I'm going to I'm going to take them apart and put them together using brackets. And, and just to give you a close-up idea of what how I'm connecting them. Alright, so now I gotta attach the baseboard to the anchor points. Um, it's not perfect, but got to fight the man somehow. Um, I'm leaving two inches so that I can put my first hoop there. Next step, now that I have all the baseboards done, and drill to my anchor points. Uh, the next step is I need to start uh, securing the PVC base to the baseboards. I'm gonna do it every two and a half foot. Um, I made one foot long, two inch PVC pipes to use um, as at the bottom. Okay, now that I got these in, um, I'm going to grab the one inch PVC and put it inside. And then what I'm using is a 5 16th inch galvanized carriage bolt just to go through it. Ok, 
Okay, now um, I got every I got the baseboards done, got everything secured to um, the base, all, all the posts. Um, now I need to start connecting them over the middle. So I'm measuring, I'm measuring top down because that's more important. That it's more important that that's uniform than this part um, due to the ground not being 100% level. Some of my sides will be a little bit shorter, but not, nothing great, a couple inches here and there. But I need them to meet in the middle uniformly. So I'm doing 82 inches from the top, which will get me into the middle. I was going to initially use these at the top of, of, the, of where the where they meet in the middle, um, but due to just you know inches off here and there, not completely flush, because I'm just kind of putting it together with spare parts, it didn't come to a complete 90. So what I did was use two 45s and kind of so they they, they came together. I don't think it's as structurally sound, but I can I can. I can kind of secure it in other ways. Um, so now, so anyway, so now I have to order more 45s and then return these. So I can't finish it for a few days. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm, I'm securing these with this. I'm not as worried about this being level. I want it more flush with this. This isn't level because the earth isn't level. But these I want to be square. That's what I'm concerned about. Now, um, I need to make the front. Uh, figure out where I'm gonna put a door and, and all that. It's not gonna be perfect, it's not gonna be flush. But it actually might work out better that way because I don't have a miter saw to cut angles or any saw that's really good at cutting perfect angles. Yo, um, wanted to give you an update. Uh, finished the front of the greenhouse. Um, I thought I was recording it, but apparently my battery died. So, got my door here. Everything's done with that. 
and now I just have to finish the back end and put uh, put the gla put the plastic up. Because I wasn't able to bring it to a complete 90 in the middle and make like a, a point, uh, I'm gonna run my support on top so that when I put my plastic over, there won't be a flat spot for water to pull. The water will still run down. Now I'm just gonna secure this, this guy or gal. I ran out of carriage bolts. At least one's long enough to get through this inch and three quarter piping, or inch and a half piping, inch and a half piping. So I'm just gonna use zip strips. I have one more carriage bolt, I'm gonna do the ends and then do zip strips in the middle. Also, uh, public service announcement, uh, if anyone watching this has time traveling capabilities, please do not tell me the score of the Western Michigan, Michigan State football game. I am recording it. Go Bronx. So this should hold. I may get some carriage bolts later, maybe not. I don't know. Morning. Um, I have pretty much everything done now. Framed out the front door. And then I have these all up, got my support over the middle. Um, now I need to frame out the back uh, and then cover it with plastic uh, and, then I'm, and I'm done. Um, so that's what I'm doing today. Okay, uh, I'm done with the, the back end framing. I have a window. I need to get uh, a bolt to hold it in place up here. But that's the back. And now I am I'm ready to to put the plastic on. So we'll see how that goes. Um, this is another time where it'd be helpful to have another person, but such is life.
plastic on the main part. Now I just have to um, cover the ends with plastic. Now that I have um, the front covered, I'm gonna go go through with the razor blade and cut out the door. Now I'm just gonna go through and staple it tight. We got the front done. And just gonna have to do the back real quick. And I'm done. Um, wasn't too bad. I wanted to give you a quick tour of the finished product. I'll go around and trim this plastic up on the side, but it's not, it's not a, a hugely pertinent issue right now. Here's the other side. I'll give you a quick tour inside while I got you. I've um, got some lettuces going over here and then uh, a couple beds of radishes, um, some collards and some other types of lettuces up here. And then uh, these are going to be beds of broccoli and uh, carrots, spinach, and then this is some arugula coming up. But that's that. Um, thanks for watching. Um, hit like if you want. If you don't, no biggie. I'll understand. But... Thanks for watching.